hi there so in this video we are going to see how to work with Java's JUnit annotations so first thing let's create one Java project let's name this demo JUnit and click on next again add your library for JUnit here click next click version selection and finish now let's add one class let's name this sample click finish and now you have your sample class here we are going to take a look at number of annotations available to you first thing we will look at before class so this is the case where any method with annotation before class will run at the top of test so type in public you can name it static void and let's say test one as method name and inside that we name it system out print line as method before class okay now the next we will use after class once you do the annotation like this it will run at the end of all classes so this is test2 method let's call for system out print line method after class okay now you have two more methods here but before that let's use add the red test method annotation so at the rate test then we'll have our public void test 3 you can method your at the rate test method Okay. and then finally your before annotation so this will run before your test method so name it test 4 then call for system out dot println and call for at the rate before method And finally after call for public void test 5 okay and here you can have system out print in pointing to at the red after method okay now at the top do mention import org dot unit also import org dot unit dot test okay this should take care of all the errors and as you can see we have before class method this should run at the top then after class annotation that should run at the bottom then comes your before method and then test method and finally after so before annotation will run before test method and after will run after test method and before class will run at the top of all these annotations and at the end after class will run at the bottom okay 
so you get the idea of how this works now right click and then run your program as gunit test okay then use specific settings if it opens launcher call for eclipse gunit launcher click ok and on right hand side you will have your gunit result window it will show you runs as how many times it run and how many errors okay and if you look at your console output you get method before class running at the top then before method then test then after method and finally after class this is exactly the way we we did the annotation with so you get the idea how your annotations are working and how you can use annotations in JUnit test.